Ah, now we're talking. So you wish to accompany them. You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. Not that I really want to. This could be our only chance. I'm sorry. I want to sell Beshka Is out again. You You're really considering this. They could prove valuable. As you please. Uh you want know I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. This is up to you now. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Why? If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Oh, it's just going to be the night? I thought it was going to be like months and months of like planning and crap. That would have been bad. Fuck happened back there? Hey, I didn't throw you under the bus. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your own, right? Hey, it wasn't my fault. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. We got two more. Who's nail? Yeah, I don't know what she's blaming me for. It wasn't my fault. I didn't throw her under the bus. I wasn't like, oh, she knew the place. Oh, I'm getting better. They're playing a dangerous game with real swords there. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylan. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. Why not? You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Hmm. Come at me. All right, let's go. Oh, what? Down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay, okay. Whoops. Uh, it's alright, it's alright, I'm alright. Let's do it again, let's, let's do it again. It again. Yeah. Ah, uh, why am I pressing the wrong buttons? Almost. Alright, one more time, one more time. Again. There we go. There we go. Oh. Got it. That would hurt, wouldn't it? At least my hands or palm. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. No, get her out of here. Lady Elena. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Don't look at my sister like that. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. No. Everyone stays here. You remember Who the hell is this? Oh. Uh, Quiver. Quiver? Gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I like Quiver. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. 
Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, you need my help when I needed yours. Given how we left things. That that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Yeah, sure. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Oh yeah, Talk now. My father Griff had subdued you and And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. Damn. To marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick. You can't marry him to House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. Yeah, now we're talking. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Ooh, ooh, what was that for? What was that for? What do you got? <gasps> you got an army. Okay, you got a couple men, but still, it's better than nothing. Oh, <gasps> yes, it's an army. Your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard. 20 men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? My little brother. Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. There's pretty much they'll I pretty much kill him. You worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. All right, let's do it. Be happy to. <laughs> let's just do it. Griff won't even <clears throat> see you coming. My men are yours to command. That was weird. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? I like Quiver better. Just saying. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when but... this is all over, we can <gasps> play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'm just gonna say it. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Yeah, there we go. Let's go for it. Go for it. Yeah, he went for it. <laughs> Good for him. Good for her not forgetting. Must have been one hell of a kiss if she won't forget that. Good for Roderick. You know what? It's the best news we've had all week. At least in this game. Best news, probably. <laughs> Although Mira's having a little bit more trouble. Too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. If you mean Queen Marjorie. She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Not to I mention Cersei or Jamie. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. So what am I going to do with this? Like how... Like here, here's the thing. Main it's goal... Time. It's to save the foresters. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill.
Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Hmm. That's it? That's all for Mira? Yeah, like so I was saying, my main goal here is to basically just save House Forester one way or another. Like, no matter what the cost, that is my goal. Everything else that's going on, I can't be concerned over. I can hear you. Well, at least now I don't have to feel bad about leaving this place and going to look for that. Now I don't have to care. Okay, so I left some onions. I'll pick up some, pick up some onions. Onions and crab apples. What do crab start. apples taste like? If I ever find a way out of here. There's still more onions. I'll pick that up. Hell yeah. That might be useful. Hell yeah. Okay, that would probably. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait. Look at. There might be something in there. The latrine. Oh. I'm not sticking around to use it. Okay, hold on. Just gonna check everything. Scraps of wood. A baggie. A blanket. Can I take the blanket? Probably covered with fleas. Ah. Okay. Never mind. Actually, you know what? You can't really be picky right now. Just sand. Like, you really can't. Like, who's picking a situation like this? This is all bloody useless. Alright, what about this hole in the wall, apparently? Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Can I open the door? Don't know what I expected. It to be open? What about this? What about this? This looks good. Oh, never mind. Jared. JK. Oh, hey. Potter. What are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. Free me. Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. What the hell? I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? He's got a point. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I'll complain all day if I want. All I ask is that you take me with you to the North Grove. I mean, if he's going to betray me, I would just kill him there. Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. All right, let's go. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. I can open the hinges over here. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. 